I'm Elise, and let's just say I'm relatively new to the field of academic research and science. And I wanted to create a new channel about stuff that we should know about, but don't know how or don't know about it because there's no simple videos about it. Today, I'll start with teaching you guys on how to put figure numbers on Google Docs. I've been using Microsoft Office Word and it's very to put figure numbers there, just put your figure captions, generate your list of tables and list of figures, and boom, it's done. But many institutions use Google. They are Google-based, thus we have to collaborate on files using Google Docs. So when I was working with Google Docs, I was so annoyed that, with the fact that I cannot easily caption and update my figures, figure numbers. It's so annoying when you put a figure in the middle and you have to update the numbering on everything else all the time. So Google Docs has no built-in function for that. That's why I look for a solution and I'll try to show that to you now. So let's start with how things work in Microsoft Office Word. So in Microsoft Office Word, it's relatively easy. For example, here you have your figure. You just insert in your references, insert caption, and then put figure. And then here, insert caption. And then voila, it's figure one and it's figure two. And for example, we have to reference something, figure, temperature, figure, oxygen. For example, you have a paragraph and then you have to reference your figures because that's what we usually do in our um, write-ups, right? So we just cross-reference a figure here, figure, and then we put figure one. I usually put just the label and number here. Is, let's just put another cross-reference label and number only, and that's it, right? So, for example, we put another in the middle, another figure in the middle, and we name it as a, we caption it as a sample figure. So, we can see that it's already figure 2. It automatically updated like that. So if we put, if we cross-reference that here, cross-reference the figure 2 sample. So it's figure 2. We just have to, you know, update this so that this one figure 3 or temperature would be referenced as figure 3. So that's for figures in Microsoft Office Word. And for tables, it's also easy. Just insert caption, insert table, and put table. And then here in Microsoft Office Word, it's very easy to put a list of tables and figures. Just put insert tables of figures, and you already have your figure titles. And just put a table of... figures here so you put a list of tables and list of figures it's very easy and it's built in in microsoft office word however for google docs that is an entirely different story so here if we look for insert something there's no insert figure caption here so what i found was we actually have to install an extension or an add-on here get add-ons extensions add-ons and then get add-ons and i look for add-ons for references and the one that i found was this cross reference by david rosorn and you have to install it and here it has a simple overview on how to use it but you can read more here in the github how do we use it so just put a random word or just put figure here and then we have to insert a hyperlink so put hyperlink and we use the hashtag f-i-g-u-r without an e and we put a label for this so for example do and then this one figure control k is insert link 
hashtag f i g u r temp and then here i would put hash hashtag f i g so for example i have to reference the figures in my document i should put something a word here and then insert link hashtag f i g the name should be the same so i put their small letter d o so d o and then here oh fig i have to control k hashtag f i g temp okay so now we have to extensions update document so that it would update the figures so here we now have figure one and figure two and then it also referenced in our paragraph figure one and then figure two so what if we put a figure in the middle of them so for example let's just copy this and put another figure and then fig example so we put another hyperlink and then hashtag f-i-g-u-r without an e example and we try to reference that here fig example for example we're just saying figure shows that blah 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 and then put here control k fig example so this is just the one that is a bit of a hassle compared to microsoft word here you have to hashtag everything and then hyperlink everything and it's and in in microsoft word it's it's built in it's just update field but here we have to do that and then update document oh. so so when we updated the document figure one is the dissolved oxygen and then figure two is the example so it automatically updated itself so for tables it's a different story because well it's a similar but a different set of hashtags and it's also easy just control k hashtag t a b l e with an e for table it's five letters so table setup and then let's put here uh, table sample and then let's try to um, for the referencing in your paragraph it should be a three um, letter word so that's t a b sample and then here hashtag tab setup okay so if we have to do the extension cross reference update document so it updated table one set up table one set up table two sample okay so what if we put a table in the middle so let's copy this and try putting another table here so once you you haven't updated your extension here the figure numbers will just stay the same so let's put here tab example tab So actually, you, ha you can put a random word here and then just put a hyperlink and then put F-I-G, I, it's T-A-B example. And if we update the document, this random word, oh, it has an error. This is, there's a reference with nothing to refer to. Oh. We, ha we had an error here because this should be T-A-B-L-E. So let's try to update it again. Update document. So now that's table 2 and your this one is table 2. So there. And another thing that we want in our documents is generating the list of tables and figures. So here in cross-reference, you can put cross-reference update and configure list first you have to configure the list and then enable figure and tables and i want to show figure first so let's try putting one and two here and extension cross-reference update list on the cursor point 
it will generate it there. So it says here long complex documents can take minutes to process. But here it was able to generate the list of tables and figures. So what if we change the page numbers? So for example, let's create new pages. Let's move the pages by putting page breaks here. You just have to again put your cursor here and where you want your list of tables and then um, update your list. Okay, so it already updated your page numbers by doing that. Okay, so what else can we do with cross reference? You can configure your references here, extensions, cross reference. Uh, configure references it says here for figure you have to use code f-i-g-u-r and for reference f-i-g you can also put for tables t-a-b-l-e and tab you can also put um, captions for equations here it's equat because it should be five letters and then for references three letters so equi so that's what they use so that's it and that's all i have for now so i think cross reference in google docs is helpful for numbering figures especially if you're working with a lot of figures and working with a lot of different people sometimes you have to put figures in between and it's really a hassle to renumber them all manually so Cross-reference is a big help for that. However, one problem with cross-reference for me is for long documents. For example, I had this 62-page document and I was generating the list of tables and figures and it had me wait for around 10 minutes or more. So I just canceled it and it was able to generate a list of figures but without the page numbers. So if that happens to you, I suggest that you just cancel it and it will update and just manually update the page numbers. At least that's all you have to update. And I hope you learned something new in my video and see you next time.